I'm back. Decided to try one more video. See how this video turns out. This video does better than my last couple of videos. I'll stay. But if I don't do better, I'm going to leave. But I'm back for now with this John Deere M and Sycamore. We, I got to do the place pitman arm. Yeah, get it lifted up, get it out of here in the other building so I can work on it, not in this dirt floor, because that's no fun working on the dirt floor. So, let's get this video started. Got the battery hooked up. Turn on the gas here. Got it all turned on. Hopefully there's enough gas in it. Let's see if it starts right away. There we go, we're gonna throttle. Alright, let's get it out of here. Alright, I gotta move this out of the way. So you get that M in here. Well, I got it in there. They don't make these old deers very easy to get on and off. Kind of just gonna, you know, jump down. I right, have the sickle bar folded down and figure out that pitman arm. Got it all unfolded. Now let's get it dropped down here. There you go. Got it dropped down. Easier to work on it now. So, I get this pitman arm here figured out. Gotta get it on there. Get it put on that end and see if it works. Got it on. Just gotta get the rest of the bolts in here. I take the whole sickle bar out, so gotta put it back in. Get to this old pitman arm here out. And see if it's actually long enough. If this isn't the actual arm, I just have a sample board here to make sure I get right before I drill into the actual arm itself. And then put that on and see if it works. And then just gotta get the other half of this PTO shaft to get run in on the tractor, but that's just it. Get the pitman arm, shaft. Shaft will be easy though. And then, see if it cuts. Yeah, I guess. Oh, getting that hole drilled. For this here spring. Goes in here. Like so. Keep tension on it. But, anyways, that's the equipment arm. And that's just a chunk of what I had laying around for a sample. But, we're getting there. I get all this metal shavings cleaned up here from that baler, which was in my last video. So I drill the holes straight because it don't work and the holes are diagonal in there. All right, got it all lined up there. Tight, plugged in. Let's get this hole drilled. One. All right, got all three of them drilled. All right, I got the bolts in. Gotta go put it on and see how far I gotta cut a slit down the end of this. And then we'll be good to go. Well, I had it up there, got it marked on how far I got to put a slice in the middle, got that old part off, you got it a little too much but it won't face much, get the holes marked out and get new bolts, put it on, see if it spins over then go find the PTO shaft for it. Got it all set up to cut 
It got it marked out on top so I can see and see what happens. Got two bolts left. I'll put that on. See if it actually spins it over. It spun over when I only had two bolts up there, so it should work with four bolts. All right, I got it on and sprayed some WD-40 in there. All I did was pound that back so it fell in between them two slots and squeeze that shut so it went back. And then you got it hooked up. So let's grab it and spin it over. Well, it works. Just need to find the other part of the PTO. Get it oiled, and we'll be good to cut. Well, it works when it's folded up too. So I'll go get this put back in the other shed. And sometime this week, I'll find the rest of the PTO shaft and get it hooked up and see if it'll cut any grass. Or if I gotta go through and replace all of them or not. Got it in here. Just got to find that rest of the PTO shaft sometime this week. See how this video does. Depending on how this video does is dependent if I'm going to stay with YouTube or not. But thanks for watching this video if you watched it.